So Blender 4.3 just dropped and with it comes lots of cool and exciting new features. But today we're going to be talking about some of the changes coming to Blender Sculpt Mode which are quite a bit different from what we're used to. The sculpting functionality in Blender has had huge performance improvements and according to the patch notes we should be seeing upwards of 8 times faster sculpting and general memory usage reduced by 30%. Essentially this means Blender should be able to handle even more detailed sculpting. So although not quite there yet, this is one step closer to that ZBrush performance that I'm wishing for. But now let's talk about some of the bigger changes coming to the user interface. If I go ahead and jump into sculpt mode, the first thing you'll likely notice is the new shelf at the bottom here. Essentially, instead of having a huge list of brushes on the side, this new asset shelf is going to be the main way that we manage and select the brushes in Blender. And this extends to all other modes that use brushes, such as texture painting and the grease pencil. And the whole point behind this change is to make it easier to customize, save and share your brushes. And and I'll show you how easy this is now in this video. But before that, let's cover the basics. We can drag and adjust the size of this shelf to our liking and even completely close it by dragging it all the way down. At which point, if we want to open it back up, we can just click this little arrow on the bottom. You can also use the shortcut shift spacebar to pop open this new brush shelf at any time. Inside the asset shelf, you'll see all of the sculpting brushes have had a little bit of a refresh, as well as there being some new ones you may not be familiar with. All of the brushes are now organized into different customizable categories, and you can see all of the current default ones in the left hand menu here. On the right here, we have the display settings where you can toggle the brush names and adjust the size of the thumbnails. There's lots of fun new brushes in here to play around with and some of the most interesting ones that I've seen so far are the simulation brushes and these provide a variety of different functionalities such as the grab cloth brush. This is essentially the same as the regular grab brush but it creates a nice cloth simulation while you drag and move parts of a mesh so it's easy to create some nice folds and wrinkles. Then there's also the pinch folds cloth brush which does exactly what it says allowing you to pinch the mesh to create nice little folds perfect for something like clothing and other the little details, although it is worth noting that much of the cloth simulation functionality in sculpt mode was already available in Blender. For example, when using the original pose brusher, you could always come into the brush settings and set the deformation type to cloth simulation, giving you some nice deformations while posing a mesh. But with some new dedicated brushes, these are going to be much more obvious and accessible. There's also some nice quality of life changes, such as the ability to enable stroke stabilization on all tools that utilize a lasso feature such as hiding, trimming, masking, and creating face sets. There's also new vertex painting and blending brushes, providing a good range of default options for creating nice textures on your sculpts. And I'm quite fond of this new paint square brush, which I think will be nice for creating a painterly effect. And now let's briefly touch on how to create and customize your own brushes because this has never been easier. And a quick way to do this is to simply right click on an existing brush and duplicate it. Then go ahead and give it a name of your choice. And now just like that, any customization you make to this brush will automatically be saved to the brush asset shelf, ready for you to use all across your Blender projects. And you can even right click and set a custom thumbnail so that your custom brushes are easily recognizable. This video is only scratching the surface of all of the amazing updates that have arrived in Blender 4.3, but as I do a lot of sculpting on this channel, I wanted to make sure I focus on this area in particular. But if you're interested in reading all about the new updates, I'll leave a link in the description to the official Blender website. But as always, a like is appreciated if you enjoyed, and you can find a link to my Blender for Beginners course in the description, which is currently on sale. But that's all from me, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next one.